Hi dolls, welcome to my channel. So today I just wanted to do this inspired look for you guys. It's inspired by the fall and winter season. I just woke up this morning and I felt like I just wanted to be brown and glowy and just full of winter going to fall. So I wanted to create this look for you guys with a pop of brown colored lip, very matte and that nice glow highlight with a nice wing eyeliner. Um, it was very simple, very easy, it wasn't really that hard. The main focus on this look was just the lips, the eyes, and the highlight. And that I'm going to stop talking and rambling and we'll just get straight into the video. I'm using the Pro Conceal um, HD High Definition Concealer. I use this for all my dark circles and like dark heads that have yet to disappear like I have a huge one here and it's like ugh cause I pop my pimple and for me like pimples I don't get like a lot of pimples I just get huge pimples and then when I pop it it's like jeez it's crazy so anyways I'm just gonna conceal put concealer on it and then I'm gonna like squeeze a little bit and just kind of move it around underneath the under part of my eye and there and bring it down a little bit and this is literally all the concealer that I use on my face I know it looks like really white but you guys will see why I put my concealer on first I don't really like the look of having too much of the white on top so with my finger I'm just going to spread the concealer around while it is wet to kind of make it a little matte a little matter for when I'm about to put the foundation on. And before I actually did my foundation, I actually, um, what am I saying actually? Before I did my foundation, I used my moisturizer on my face, and I also used a primer on my face. So that is something that I always do, moisturize and prime my face. I'm just gonna go right in the inside of my eye. I'm trying not to put the concealer in my eye because if you guys get the stuff in your eye, it burns like crazy. And the extra concealer, I just kind of put it like places that I see like dark heads or anything. So don't I look cute? So anyways, while that sets in my face, I usually then go with the colors that I'm gonna use. For today's look, I'm gonna go for a nice brown lip with a nice kind of neutral type white eye. So for this look, we're going to use my favorite palette, which is my Hard Candy palette in the neutral color. So for the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to take that neutral color right here. It's like my signature color. I always use this color. And I'm going to apply this as just the transition color for my lips. So I'm just going to apply a little bit all over. And same thing to the other parts of my eye, all over. So now I'm going to use one of my angled brushes, and I'm going to apply this kind of chocolatey cocoa type brown on the outer parts of my eye and into the crease. of the V. I'm just going to go down to the middle part of my eye. So only about that much. I'm going to go down. And then on the outer parts, I'm kind of going to go upwards with it. So like if I'm about to make a winged cat eyeliner, but not really. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So then I'm going to take this more neutrally type color. It's like a whitish type cream color. And I'm going to use this in the inner part of my lid. So right here, and I'm going to pat it on. Rather than actually leave it there, I'm going to pat it on. This is going to be the color that's going to help us with what we're going to put on top of it. So then, I have this little pink pot thing. So what I told you guys, it's so pigmented. So just a little bit, and we're 
we're just gonna pat it on lightly, very lightly. And do the same thing with the opposite side, pat it on very lightly. You know, if I were to make an eyeshadow palette, I would definitely make an eyeshadow palette that is like the payoff is like crazy, like perfect. You wouldn't have to like blend and add too much onto it, you just need a little bit to go a long way. I would definitely need the eyeshadow palette out of me. Now don't worry if you get it outside of the part where it's supposed to be. I'll show you guys what we have to do next. Same thing with the first color that we put on before the sandy color. But this one is just going to kind of bring this color into light. See that right there? It's putting it into light because it's so sandy. It's just kind of bringing it into light. And then we're going to go back with our same brush that we used the first time with that darker color. We're going to use that same darker color and we're going to go back into the crease again and do the same blending that we did. So just kind of trying to go back into that crease. my lash extension mascara and I basically just put that on my lashes before I put my eyeliner on and this is just going to kind of accentuate my lashes and make it really 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 bulky and just ready for when ready to put the next quotes on did I just say quotes? I meant to say quotes wow so Right now, we're just going to add all of that onto our lashes. And then when it dries, it's going to be like so hard. And then when we put the other one on, it's just going to be ready. You guys know what I mean. And yeah. I usually do this this way because by the time this is done and I've already applied my eyeliner, I'm just like good to go. For this specific look, the major things that we want to focus on is eyeliner, contour, and lips. In that order. <laughs> okay, so now eyeliner. My favorite eyeliners to use is always a liquid eyeliner. I'm not quite sure where I got this. It's just a soft liquid liner. I'm not quite sure. But this is basically the one that I love to use. See my lashes? They're like perfect right now. So how we're going to do it, um, you just kind of start in the middle parts of your eye if you're not really used to doing eyeliner. Start with the middle portions and just kind of drag it all the way up. For me, I've been using eyeliner since I was in grade 8. So this stuff is like, comes like second nature. And then I kind of just go back on the sides where I kind of messed up and I go back down. Now when we come to the bottom parts of our eye, we're just going to kind of slowly bring it back up. And you're going to close your eyes a little bit and get your inner corners of your eye. Like so. This look, I'm not going to be using falsies. So I'm going to go back again, and I'm just going to add the mascara back on top. So now, it's much thicker. Oh, and what I did um, when my camera died, actually, 
I just basically finished the rest of my eyeliner and added eyeliner at the bottom parts of my inner waterline. Sponge. And then one top. And that lets me determine where my contour is going to start and where it's going to end. Like that. And then I'm going to put my under eye um, powder, which is my Milani face powder in the color 04 light tan. And I'm running out of this stuff and I really need to get some more. You guys are probably wondering why is her um, under eye powder so light? And the reason why I love this product is because it's so transparent that you can't even tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit here. So remember I told you guys I don't really like the whole um, under eye with concealer so bright. So what I do is I use my powder to give me that matte light bright look that I do love. I kind of bring it down to the lines of where the concealer is and also my cheekbones. So as you can see, I started up and I kind of bring it downwards. So remember when I was doing the concealer, I kind of pulled it along so? That's the same thing that I'm doing for this one. I take the same powder, I put some here on my chin, and some on the top parts of my forehead because for some reason, because my eyebrows are like my eyebrows, <laughs> they get like very oily. So I just put it there for the fact of the oiliness. And I'm going to take the same color to define my contour even more, put a little bit more there and a little here. So this stuff is literally like banana powder. If you guys know the banana powder, you have the banana powder. Um, this is the same thing. It's just different type of brand, but it's literally like the same thing. So then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go back with the same bronzer, which is the NYC bronzer. Because now, I have the colors that I want, but I need to get that bronzy glow again that I love. So I'm going to go back with it, and I'm just going to put it there. Give me back my dimensions. And I'm also going to put it on the sides of my nose. I don't need any more product, because I'm not going to use so much. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with me. And just a little bit on the top parts of my forehead. Just very little. So now, I'm then going to be using my highlighter. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this YouTuber. Her name is Carly by Bell. Um, I've actually recently purchased her highlighter. I will definitely do a review on this if you guys want me to. It's the BH Cosmetic Carly by Bell um, 14 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. And I think Carly was very smart when she did make this palette because most palettes are just an eye palette. but Hers is actually a highlight palette, and trust me, her highlighters give me life. So currently, I transition from highlights. I love this one in the middle. 
Um, so for my nose, I used a lighter pink one. And I just kind of put it downwards. And I put a little bit down here. And I used a little bit on the apples of my cheeks, but not too much. And I used the bronzy one because it's more my skin tone. Add it on top of that for the apples of my cheeks. And I go upwards with that highlighter. So like so, and bring it down. I do not, not all the time I like to put um, highlighter before bronzer. Sometimes if I'm using my um, Sunbeam highlighter, I'll put that before my foundation. So it depends on which highlighter I decide to use. But right now I'm feeling her highlighters because they're giving me so much life right now. It's not even funny. And back to the apples in my cheeks. As you can see, that highlight right there, that's like, I love highlighter. Like, oof. People will be like, you don't need so much highlight. I love highlighter. And then I'm going to use a little bit underneath my eyebrows because I want my eyebrows to kind of stand out and pop. So I'm going to use just a little bit more underneath my eyebrows to make it look like I actually did my eyebrows even though I did it. And I'm going to use some on um, the top parts of my lip. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the type of lipstick that we're going to be using is a brown color. Disregard the pimple I have right here by my lip. It is like crazy. So I'm just going to line my lip very precisely. Imagine if this is how I said to go outside, like, I think this is how Cholas um, used to have their lips. I don't know if they still do fingers because I already add the um, eyeliner and I don't want to make the brush smudge it up, but I just want the highlight just to give me that perfect bronzy type look that I want people to look at. So, yeah. Okay, back down here. Make sure my glow is on point, just a touch. And yeah, that's it. That's all. That's usually what I do for my lips. If you guys want it, and you don't really like the whole matte lips, you can actually add some lip gloss onto it to make it less matte. And that would suffice. So this is the finished look. If you guys like it, um, if you guys want to change the lip color, you can change the lip color, make it something new, make it something simple, but for today and the spirit of winter and fall, I just want this brown color. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also just leave me some comments down below and let me know if you guys like this look and what looks you guys want me to recreate for you guys.